arsenal you've brought tonight, Mr. Harper. You haven't seen the half of it, Luther! Oh, I wasn't talking about the weaponry. I myself never go armed. No, the greatest arsenal any man can bring to the party consists of the resources of his own mind. His intelligence, his stratagems, his force of will. And you, my young friend, have all of those in spades. Detonation cord, Luther. The kind LexCorp sells illegally. It's the perfect revenge. I use your own tech to do to you what you did to me. Except we gave you anesthesia. Your methods seem a tad more violent. We reap what we sow, Luther. Indeed. But are you prepared for the harvest? Vengeance is a sucker's game, son. And yours can only be achieved at the cost of your own life. You think I won't pay that cost? Honestly, I have no idea. But I might just be dying to find out. You want we should take him out now, Mr. Luthor? No, Otis. I'm content to wait patiently for young Mr. Harper's decision. Don't mock me, Luther! To get my revenge, I'd run any risk. I don't believe in risk. I believe in preparation. You see... Ever since you vacated that cozy little freezer unit we provided for you in Tibet, I've expected this confrontation. So I came prepared. How do I know it's not booby-trapped? I suppose you don't. What is it you really want, son? Revenge? Satisfaction. 